Legend has it that Jesus was a carpenter for at least 15 years. One particular legend is that people came to him from all over to buy yokes for their oxen. And it was said that he would do measurements and the yokes were made to order. It was also said that there was a sign over the shop doorway that read, my yokes fit well. I don't know if that's true, but it's very believable. Especially it makes sense in light of what's said in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, that says, Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy. My yoke is easy to bear. And the burden I give you is light. Hey, there's three phrases I'd like to zoom in on there for a moment. The first one is, come to me, Jesus says. That's about relationship, come to me. It's about knowing him as, as the bread of life. He's the way, he's the truth, he's the life. He is the answer to every need. And when I surrender to him, he invites me to come to him and drink of the living water that he provides. When I do, I find rest. And that's the second phrase. He says, I will give you rest. Come to me. I will give you rest. Rest means, you know, being at peace. No further action needed. It is what the attorney declares when he says, I rest my case. The word rest is also used in music. It's like the interval of, of silence between the notes. It's, it's that pause that comes with being still and knowing that he is God. As the psalmist wrote in 46.10, it's in that silence, that moment, that I can hear his voice. I can hear him say things like what he says next, take my yoke upon you. That's a third really valuable phrase. Each person, every one of us is burdened by some kind of yoke. Some of us are born with a yoke of poverty, others a yoke of riches. We're born under a yoke of nationalities and ethnicity, and bearing the conditions of the place that we're born. That yoke includes our obligations, the, the worries, the concerns, the, the sins, the burdens. Everyone is familiar with bearing a yoke. In Jesus' day, the, the yoke for the oxen was to carry a heavy load. The yoke of Jesus is to let him carry us. And the load is his to carry. That's a shift from controlling our load to surrendering our lives. I pray that you're able to surrender your load to him today. His yoke fits well. I hope that encourages you and brings a sense of peace and rest.